वेलकम टू वर्षा ट्यूटोरियल्स आप मेरे साथ पढ़ रहे हैं टेन सी बेसिस साइंस सिंपल एंड इजी मेथड में आज जो मैं आपको टेस्ट सीरीज कराने जा रही हूँ कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन यानी जिसमें ब्रेन एंड स्पाइनल कॉर्ड आता है और हम सब जानते हैं ये वाला चैप्टर बायो का सबसे टफ चैप्टर है आपको घबराने की जरूरत नहीं है इसको मैं इसके वीडियोस मैंने बहुत सिंपल मेथड में मैंने आपको थेरी बहुत अच्छे से एक्सप्लेन की है आप पहले वीडियो देखिए अपने कॉन्सेप्ट्स क्लियर कीजिए और फटाफट एमसीक्यूज कीजिए देखिए आप कैसे क्वेश्चंस फटाफट आंसर्स आप देते हैं तो चलिए बिना कोई टाइम वेस्ट किए हम स्टार्ट करते हैं हमारे जो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एमसीक्यूज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम कंट्रोल एंड कॉर्डिनेशन फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आर टेस्ट सीरीज ऑन कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन तो यहाँ पे अभी जो हम क्वेश्चंस डिस्कस करेंगे वो हमने पुराने जितने क्वेश्चंस आए थे वहाँ से हमने गैदर किए हैं एंड ऑल्सो इस साल जो क्वेश्चंस आने के चांसेस हैं वो भी हमने गैदर किए हैं सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद दिस टेस्ट सीरीज ऑन कंट्रोल एंड कॉर्डिनेशन सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच पार्ट ऑफ द नर्व सेल कंटेन्स अ न्यूक्लियस योर ऑप्शन आर ए एक्सॉन बी डेंड्राइट सी साइटॉन एंड डी नर्व एंडिंग वट डू यू थिंक इज द राइट आंसर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी विच इज साइटॉन तो मैं बस रिवाइज करवा देती हूँ जैसे आपको मालूम है साइटॉन जो है वो एक सेल बॉडी होती है जिसमें साइटोप्लाज्म और न्यूक्लियस दोनों ही प्रेजेंट होते हैं नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू A gap between a pair of adjacent nerve cell over which a nerve impulse passes is called what? And your options are A. Dendrites, B. Neurotransmitter, C. Synapse, and option D. All of these. What do you think is the right answer? The correct answer is option C, which is synapse. So, जो दो neurons Uh, के बीच में जो गैप होती है उसको हम साइनाप्स कहते हैं नाउ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड विद आर क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री द क्वेश्चन इज रिफ्लेक्स आर फॉर्म्ड बाय ऑप्शंस हैं आपके ए मसल ब्रेन रिसेप्टर ऑप्शन बी मसल स्पाइनल कॉर्ड एंड रिसेप्टर ऑप्शन सी रिसेप्टर ब्रेन एंड मसल्स एंड ऑप्शन डी रिसेप्टर स्पाइनल कॉर्ड एंड मसल आई होप यू गट द ऑप्शन नाउ वट डू यू थिंक इज द राइट आंसर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी विच इज रिसेप्टर स्पाइनल कॉर्ड एंड मसल सो दैट्स हाउ अ रिफ्लेक्स आर्क इज फॉर्म्ड नाउ मूविंग टूवर्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर अ स्टूडेंट एक्सीडेंटली प्लेस हर हैंड ऑन अ फ्लेम ऑफ अ कैंडल एंड क्विकली पुल्स हर हैंड अवे The flame represents what? Your options are a a response, b a stimulus, c an impulse, and option d an effector. What do you think is the right answer? A right answer is option a, which is a stimulus. And uh, when it comes to flame and things like that, it is also known as environmental change. Moving towards our next question, question number five. Reflex actions are mediated through what? Your options are A. Brain, B. Effectors, C. Spinal cord, and D. Receptors. What do you think is the right answer? The correct answer is option C, which is spinal cord. This question was similar to the previous question of reflex arc. Now moving towards uh, question number six, which is, how many pairs of cranial nerves are present in a man? Your options are A, twelve; B, twenty-one; C, thirty-one; and D, forty-one. What do you think is the right answer? The correct answer is option A, which is twelve. Now question number seven, which is the largest part of the brain? Your options are A, medulla oblongata; B, 
pons, C, cerebellum, and D, cerebrum. What do you think is the right answer? The correct answer is option D, which is cerebrum. Now it is the main part of our brain and jitna bhi hamara thinking process hota hai, usme cerebrum ka hi major role rata hai. Now moving towards question number 8. Posture and balance of a body is controlled by what? Your options are A. Cerebrum B. Cerebellum C. Medulla and D. Pons What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is option B, which is cerebellum. Now, question number 9. Spinal cord originates from, your options are, A, cerebrum, B, medulla, C, pons, and D, cerebellum. What do you think is the right answer? The correct answer is option B, which is medulla. So, as we all know again, medulla is a part of hind brain and jahan se hind brain khatam hota hai, wahan se spinal cord start hoti hai. So medulla is, that's why medulla is the right answer. Now, question number 10. Ye bhi kaafi important question hai, which is, in a neuron conversion of electrical signal to a chemical signal occurs in, your options are, A, a cell body, B, axonal end, C, dendritic end, and D, exon. The correct answer is B, exonal end, which is also known as a nerve ending. So, if you write the option mein nerve ending, then that is also correct. Now, question number 11, which is, electric impulse travels in a neuron from, your options are A, dendrite, exon, exonal end, and cell body. Option B, cell body, dendrite, exon, and exonal end. C, dendrite, cell body, exon, and exonal end. And option D, exonal end, exon, cell body, dendrite. What do you think is the right answer? The correct answer is option C, which is dendrite, cell body, exon, and exonal end. Kaafi bar agar is aise type of questions mein thoda sa confusion ho jata hai. So just visualize it. Ki matlab kis tarike se ye jo options hai wo jaan hai. Jaise pehle kya exon hai, dendrite hai, kya hai. So just visualize it and after that you can get the answer right. Moving towards the next question which is question 12. Which of the following statements are true? Your options are A. Sudden action in response to something in the environment is called a reflex action. Option B. Sensory neurons carry signals from spinal cord to muscles. Third, third is motor neurons carry signals from receptors to spinal cord. And four is the path through which signals are transmitted from a receptor to a muscle or a gland is called a reflex arc. And your options are A, 1 and 2, B, 1 and 3, C, 1 and 4, and D, 1, 2 and 3. What do you think is the right answer? The correct answer is option C, which is 1 and 4. Now moving towards the next question. So this is a, a sort of a situation based question, which is Neha was studying in a room. Suddenly she smells smoke and she comes out of the room immediately. Was Neha's action involuntary or voluntary? What do you think is the answer? So the correct answer, now the correct answer is that Neha's action was voluntary. Now, why was it, vo was, was it voluntary? Now, it was voluntary because her rushing out of the room was due to her conscious control. The smoke and smell were perceived by her receptors and were then sensed by the brain. And um, uh, yeah, obviously through the signals and they were sent to the brain. Now, the brain sent signals to the effector to move out of the room and that's why her actions were voluntary. Now, question number 14. 
a group of cells in a sense organ which is sensitive to a particular type of stimulus is called what? Your options are A. Interceptor, B. Effector, C. Receptor and D. Acceptor. What do you think is the right answer? The correct answer is option C. Receptor. Now question number 15. Which of the following cannot be considered a receptor? Your options are A. Ear, B. Nose, C. Muscle and D. Eye. What do you think is the right answer? The correct answer is option C which is a muscle. Now moving towards our next question, question number 16. The number of pairs of nerves which arises from a spinal cord is your options are A. 21, B. 31, C. 41 and D. 51. What do you think is the right answer? The correct answer is option B. 31. Moving towards our next question, question number 17. Which of the following is not an involuntary action? Your options are A. Vomiting, B. Chewing, C. Heartbeat and D. Salivation. The correct answer is option B which is chewing. Now question number 18. The involuntary actions in the body are controlled by your options are A. Medulla in the forebrain, B. Medulla in the hindbrain, C. Medulla in the spinal cord and D. Medulla in midbrain. What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is B. Medulla in the hindbrain. Abhi pichle wale question mein hi maine just ye bataya tha aapko ki medulla hindbrain mein. Now question number 19. One of the following controls the peristaltic move, movement of elementary canal. This one is your options are A. Cerebrum, B. Cerebellum, C. Pons and D. Medulla. What do you think is the right answer? The correct answer is option D, medulla. Moving towards the next question, question number 20. All the voluntary actions of our body are controlled by what? Your options are A, cerebrum, B, cerebellum, C, pons and D, medulla. The correct answer is option A, cerebrum. Now, in these questions, I just want to say one thing here. You will notice that the options are almost the same. But the questions the question for the options are different. So, just make sure that if it is the same, then just, you just read the question properly. So that you do not miss out. That yes, there was up and medulla, and there was medulla. It is not the question you just read from the question. Because you will see that the options are similar to the options. Now, uh, moving towards the next question. The part of brain which controls the involuntary actions such as heartbeat, breathing, blood pressure, uh, etc. is done by what? Or your options are A. Pons, B. Medulla, C. Cerebrum and D. Cerebellum. The correct answer is B. Medulla. Moving towards the next question which is question 22. The question is... The part of brain which takes part in regulating respiration in the human body is your options are A. Medulla, B. Pons, C. Cerebellum and D. Cerebrum. The correct answer is option B which is Pons. Again it is a part of hindbrain. Just say medulla is a part of hindbrain similarly. Now moving towards our second last question which is 23. The contraction of pupil in the eye in the presence of bright light is an example of what? Your options are A. Voluntary reflux B. Spinal reflux C. Cerebral reflux and D. Adrenal reflux What do you think is the right answer? The correct answer is option C. Cerebral reflux. Now, the cerebral reflux is a quick action, hai, quick reflux. Hota hai. 
एंड ऑब्वियसली इन्वॉलेंट्री होता है इसलिए आपको पता नहीं चलता बहुत ज़्यादा फास्ट होता है सडनली बहुत ब्राइट लाइट आ जाएगी तो ऑब्वियस है कि हमारा जो प्यूपल है वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अपने आप हो जाता है विदाउट वी गेटिंग टू नो अबाउट इट ना द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी फोर इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर ट्रू द स्टेटमेंट्स आर वन सडन एक्शन इन रिस्पॉन्स टू समथिंग इन द एनवायरमेंट इज कॉल्ड रिफ्लक्स एक्शन टू सेंसरी न्यूरॉन्स कैरी इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल्स फ्रॉम स्पाइनल कॉर्ड टू मसल्स इज अ रिफ्लेक्स एक्शन थर्ड मोटर न्यूरॉन्स कैरी सिग्नल्स फ्रॉम रिसेप्टर्स टू स्पाइनल कॉर्ड इज अ रिफ्लेक्स एक्शन एंड फोर्थ द पाथ वे ऑफ ट्रांसमिटिंग सिग्नल्स फ्रॉम अ रिसेप्टर टू अ मसल इज अ रिफ्लेक्स एक्शन द ऑप्शन आर ए वन एंड टू बी वन एंड थ्री C one and four and D one two and three. What do you think is the right answer? The correct answer is option C one and four. Uh, so friends, today we completed the test series on control and coordination. So its ke jitne bhi questions the, wo jaise maine pehle kaha ki humne har jagah se gather karke banaye hain. To इवन दो इन ये जो चैप्टर है इसका मे बी बहुत ज़्यादा वेटेज नहीं होगा बट जिन जिन का बहुत ज़्यादा वेटेज नहीं होता उनके क्वेश्चन काफ़ी बार बहुत कन्फ्यूजिंग से आ जाते हैं बिकॉज एक तो वेटेज कम है ऊपर से क्वेश्चन एक हाथ डालने हैं तो हार्ड डाल देते हैं काफ़ी बार सो दैट्स वाई जस्ट मेक श्योर कि आप इनका रिविजन करते रहना एंड सेकेंडली जो ऑप्शन है वो काफ़ी बार सिमिलर सिमिलर थे तो जस्ट मेक श्योर कि वो जो क्वेश्चन है वो भी आप ढंग से रीड कर लो एंड सेम सेम वो टिक ना करो सो That's it thank you so much and practice 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 again